Looks like we have ourselves a standoff. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most incredible movie young to old castings. Do it. Some of them are going home. For this list, we'll be looking at film actor matchups for characters at various ages, so good that we almost believe they're the same person. Which pairings had you doing a double take? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, the entire main cast, now and then. This coming of age film is well loved for its portrayal of adolescent female friendship. All I can count on is you guys. know how you feel. Scenes of the protagonists as grown-ups bookend ones of them as teens as they remember an important summer. Both the younger and older casts were played by great actresses. Gabby Hoffman and Demi Moore, Christina Ricci and Rosie O'Donnell, Ashley Aston Moore and Rita Wilson, and Thora Birch and Melanie Griffith are all perfectly matched. She really is beautiful. You know? Kind of looks like Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> the adults actually reportedly screened footage of their younger counterparts to help them perform in a way that would match, which definitely paid off. With such an amazing ensemble, it's impossible to choose just one duo. They all do such a great job that following the characters between time periods is easy. This is the one night when the barrier between the dead and the living can be broken. I read it in the Encyclopedia of Supernatural Phenomena. You are so weird. I'm in. Yeah, me too. Number 9. The Sanderson Sisters, Hocus Pocus 2 Actresses Taylor Paige Henderson, Juju Brenner, and Nina Kitchen probably weren't even born yet when we met the Sanderson Sisters in the first Hocus Pocus. Trim him of his baby fat. Mr. Captain American, Mr. Give him fur black as black, just like this. No! Oh, oh, oh! That's wild to think about, considering their characterizations in the sequel are absolutely spot on. The young trio perfect the postures, hand gestures, and vocal qualities of Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Kathy Najimy. Surprise! This is the worst day of my life! Uh -oh. You instantly recognize Winifred's unique movements, Sarah's wide-eyed, vapid look, and Mary's one-sided smile. They commit as fully to the hilariously over-the-top witches as the more seasoned actresses, and the result is truly magical. Open the door! We are not here! <laughs> Number 8, Agent K, Men in Black 3. So really, we need to go right now. Right. Before Men in Black 3, Tommy Lee Jones and Josh Brolin were both in In the Valley of Ella and No Country for Old Men. Brolin had fun impersonating Jones's taciturn manner and punchy speech patterns, which eventually landed him the role as the young incarnation of Jones's character in Men in Black 3. Your guy, what's her name? Darren? When confronted with portraying the iconic Agent K, Brolin wanted to make sure his acting was more than comic mimicry. After working at it relentlessly, he perfected Agent K's smile, vocal pattern, and facial expressions. Considering how intimidating Jones can seem on screen, matching his energy while still holding your own is no small feat. But if you ask us, Brolin nailed it. Hey man, hey, how old are you? 29. Oof. You got some city miles on you. Number seven, William Jones, The Age of Adeline. Anthony and Gruber and Harrison Ford pair up to play the past and present versions of William Jones in this timeless love story. All right, all it needs is a push start. Um, just lose the brake, I'll give you a push. You pop your clutch and you'll take off. In a flashback, the young Jones calls out from a distance when arriving to help the protagonist Adeline. The voice fully sounds like it belongs to Ford, but nope, it's in Gruber. You still haven't told me your name. Adeline Bowman. But my friends call me Della. That's beautiful. Funnily enough, the latter actor had already perfected his impersonation of the former's Han Solo on YouTube before landing this part. Plus, the two look alike, with Ingruber's perfect half-smile and cock of the head further adding to the illusion. 
You know how de-aging technology was used on Ford for 2023's Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny? Well, if you said they'd done the same for this film, we'd believe it. Three, two, one. <laughs> Number six, Lucy Wyman, 13 going on 30. Talk about a picture-perfect match. This pairing had us checking to see whether the actresses are related. Um, before I forget, where's our project proposal? On the table. Thanks. Remember, no peeking. Keep that blindfold on. Alexandra Kyle and Judy Greer both completely channel Lucy Wyman's Queen Bee energy that is so necessary to counteract Jenna's youthful naivete. At both ages, the mean girl is defined by the same syrupy fakeness, eye rolls, and head tilts. Honey, I know I'm your best friend, but the slip dress is a little 97. Unless it's retro. Plus, the actresses also have strikingly similar facial features. The resemblance is so uncanny that it apparently even surprised Greer's mom. However, Greer herself reportedly said that Kyle was much prettier than she was as a teen. Still, looking at pictures of these two side by side, it's easy to forget they're different people. I'm 13! Jenna, if you're gonna start lying about your age, I'd go with 27. Number 5. Adam Reed, The Adam Project when actors playing the same character at different ages are in scenes together, the casting has to work for it to be believable. How do you know my dog's name? Because I named him. Where are you going? <laughs> Luckily, Walker Scobell is so good at his job that he sometimes seems more like Ryan Reynolds than Reynolds himself. In this time-traveling adventure, the two Adams join forces to save their future. Someone went back and altered the time stream, so the future the jet had left from had already been changed. God, it's like I traded my brains for those muscles. Just as the characters worked together, so too did the actors. They would reportedly work out line readings via FaceTime, and their collaborative efforts yielded stellar results. The young star's fast-paced insults and comic delivery completely capture Reynolds' pacing and charisma. The fact that Scobell was already a huge Deadpool superfan when he joined the film probably helped matters, too. Hey, guys! Enjoying our suspension? I am now. Oh, that's my spleen. Number 4. Cecilia Carroll, C.C. Bloom, Beaches A dramedy, Beaches traces the unlikely friendship of the charismatic C.C. and the more reserved Hillary. C.C. Bloom! <laughs> Ta-da! Hi, I'm Hillary Whitney. The pair meet as children and move in and out of each other's lives as they age. Mayim Bialik was applauded for her portrayal of a young Cece, who's played by Bette Midler as an adult, and it's well earned. Oh, God, I've dreamt about this moment for so long. I can't believe we're actually in the same room together. Look, honey, I don't know what you're after, but if it's what I think it is, you're not my type. Comprenez-vous? There's some physical resemblance between the two. However, Bialik's full commitment to the loud, brash character is what cinches the connection, with both actresses demanding attention and commanding the screen. It's no wonder the movie ended up being a launching pad for Bialik's career. We might never have gotten to know her as Blossom on the sitcom of the same name were it not for this performance. How come you want me to write to you so much? Are you crazy? You just happen to be the most fantastic person I've ever met in my entire life. Number 3. Ellie. Contact. The focus of this science fiction drama is adult Ellie's quest to make contact with alien life. Yeah, we think that this, this may be a beacon, some kind of a, an announcement to get our attention. Well, if it's attention you want, I think you got that. This older version of the character is played by Jodie Foster, with her usual stunning skill. But we also see Ellie's childhood, which provides insight into her character as her early relationship with her father is essential to the climax of the film. Pensacola, where's Pensacola? I'll give you a hint. Orange juice. Copy that, K4WLD. How's the weather down there in Florida? These emotional moments are portrayed beautifully by Jenna Malone. Not only that, it's extremely clever physical casting. The actresses share many features, which becomes apparent in the scene where Ellie is transported through wormholes. The older voice and face briefly morph into the younger version, and it feels seamless. I should have said the poet. So beautiful. Beautiful. Number 2. Lila Wittenborn, Evening When Mamie Gummer auditioned for Lajos Koltai, the director of Evening, he knew she'd be the perfect Lila Wittenborn. He didn't even know Meryl Streep was her mom. 
I don't think that you're in love with Carl. I think you're in love with Harris. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Gummer was able to shine on screen as the society woman set to marry a man she didn't love. It just so happened that there was a scene with an older version of Lila. Who better than Streep for the role? The renowned actress signed on for the project, and honestly, there was no better choice for the part. Are you Anne's daughters? Yeah, I'm Nina. I'm Constance. I'm Lila Ross, and I'm an old friend of your mother's. The real-life mother-daughter duo obviously share a striking physical resemblance, as well as a certain energy and essence. So watching them as two versions of the same fictional character seems like the most natural thing in the world. And did Buddy take you down to the beach? Oh yes, I, I met Harris. What are we gonna do with those Mortimers? Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Natasha Romanoff, Black Widow. Ever Anderson is just as fierce and protective as her older counterpart. Get away from me! <laughs> Don't touch her! Don't touch her! JB, tenacious D in the pick of destiny. Troy Gentile fully commits to Jack Black's quirky charm. Dio, can you hear me? I am lost and so alone. I'm asking for your guidance. Won't you come down from your throne? I need a tight compadre who will teach me how to rock. Bill Anderson, Mamma Mia, here we go again. Stellan Skarsgård and Josh Dillon have the same charming twinkle in their eyes. But what would be really great today, not tomorrow, is if uh, somewhere in this harbor there was a guy. Young, tall, dashingly handsome. It's probably passable looking, but he has a boat. Eddie Kasprak, It and It Chapter 2. The energy Jack Dillon Grazer and James Ranson bring to Eddie is spot on. You guys are splashed around in millions of gallons of dairy pee. So, what are you, are you serious? What are you? It doesn't smell like caca to me, senor. Okay, I, I, I can smell that from here. It's probably just your breath wafting back into your face. Uh, have you ever heard of a staph infection? Also, a staph, staph infection. infection. Gamora, Avengers Infinity War. Maybe Thanos used the time stone to get the young Zoe Saldana? What did it cost? Everything. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Don Vito Corleone, The Godfather and The Godfather Part 2 Robert De Niro and Marlon Brando were the first two actors to win separate Oscars for playing one character, though Brando refused the award. But let's be frank, you, you never wanted my friendship. And uh, you were afraid to be in my debt. In other words, their portrayals of Vito Corleone are legendary. And for good reason. Although the older version of the character was introduced first, it seemed like a natural progression from the younger. Brando created the famous persona, while De Niro took that role and removed the heavy burdens of a full mafia don. <laughs> He incorporated the physical tics of Brando's Corleone, but made them lighter and faster. In De Niro's portrayal, it's easy to see the beginning of what Vito Corleone would one day become. I'm making all of you don't refuse. Don't worry. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.